Hey everybody, I'm Mikey G, and today we're going to start this Prove It with a little bit of truth. And the truth is, is that I'm not that talented of an artist. We're going to be looking at the World of Art DVD collection and seeing how much better you can get as an artist from just watching a DVD. And if we can prove it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a complete painting start to finish with only a sketch and a picture of the artwork as well as all the materials I need, but that's it. I'm just going to be doing it based on looking at this picture and having the right materials. Then once I complete this, I'm going to do another one start to finish, this time watching the DVD, following along and seeing how much better or worse my second painting is. All right, I've completed my underdrawing, now it's time to get started painting. The DVD we'll be working on today is from the Tom Jones Thatched Hut title. I'm having a hard time trying to replicate the kind of loose effect that he has for these trees. Mine are kind of blobbing up. So I think what I need to do now is kind of step back and reflect. They say you need to get some distance between yourself and your artwork to see what it looks like to other people. I think I need to get further back. So this is probably the hardest part for me is to show you what I've done. <laughs> it, it went okay, you know, there were a few areas that I, I really was a little perplexed with. Um, I had trouble mixing some of the darker browns that went on the hut. Uh, overall, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, entirely embarrassed. Uh, you know, maybe my grandmother put it up on her fridge, I'll have to ask her. But now it's time to put this aside, uh, get my DVD player out, and try this again, following along with Mr. Tom Jones making this thatched hut. So, here we go. Hi again, I'm Tom Jones, and welcome to another one of my DVDs. I got a little scene here that I think you'll enjoy today. It's got some thatched huts in it. It's really a Florida scene. Well, it's official. I've already made my first mistake, and we're not even 40 seconds in. I used one blue to do my sky, and he's showing me how to mix with three. So I've got a lot to learn. Well, as I thought, Tom Jones does wait for each layer to dry before moving on, and that should alleviate some of the bleeding problems I had yesterday. Uh, but one of the things he did teach me was how I could speed up the drying time with this little guy. I'm finding it much easier to get realistic looking trees now that I've understood better the dry brush effect Tom's getting by basically pushing uh, into the paper. We are back looking at our before and after of uh, the original painting I did and the one we just completed um, following along the DVD. I could really see an improvement in the details. Let's compare these two skies first of all. On this sky here that I did originally, um, you're going to see that there's a, a couple of different shades and I kind of attempted to do that sun shape in the center. But when you look over here on the right, uh, following the DVD, Tom Jones had me doing several different types of uh, colors to make the sky more interesting, different layers, and he showed me a technique for making the sun stand out a lot more. Now then if you look into the kind of the forestry and the woods here, there's a lot more color going on rather than here um, in the original painting I did, which is a lot more two-dimensional. The other things that I liked were the use of colors, uh, harder lines. You can see that there's a lot of blooming and a lot of color blending where we have much harder edges here in the original painting that I did. The other thing is that I feel like my eye is really being taken on a bit of a journey through this painting, um, especially because the way we kind of did this horizon here, it definitely looks more pushed back than it does in my original one. Um, when I sit down and look at it uh, subjectively, I really feel like I've done a much better job at creating depth, which is part of that realism that you're looking for in watercolor painting and things that excite the eye, that make you want to look at it and think, oh, that's pretty. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. I think the overall message is the difference between what I first did and this one, there's a lot more attention to detail in the one following Tom Jones, and it really made for a much more um, rich and uh, deeper detail painting. So I hope you enjoyed this series of Prove It, and we'll see you again next time. Hey, Grandma. 
How you doing? I was uh, calling to see if you got that painting I sent you. Oh, I got your painting. Uh, well, I hope you like it. I was wondering if it was going to make it up on uh, your refrigerator. <laughs>